I recently made a video about clicking on links, which is bad, obviously, but most of the times, as this comment states, I can confidently say it's also 95% of the times the same boring installed from GitHub and modified it for three second website, I don't really. This comment just states that opening links really is like opening CS boxes. Chances of getting some real stuff is unbelievably low, <laughs> but still don't open them though. Although let's say you open a link and it now tells you to click these randomly placed buttons. Should you do it? <laughs> well, no, obviously. But hold on cowboy, don't exit the video just yet. I got some stuff to explain. Let me tell you though, these attacks are very, very complex and chances are this video is going to be long. Therefore, grab yourself some popcorn tuck yourself in and enjoy the show. <laughs> it's actually sad. I edit for like six plus hours and I average out like 2000 views. So please subscribe guys. I'm desperate at this point. <laughs> so if you ever went on a website and you found a YouTube embed to play a certain video, let's say, how the hell did this website show a YouTube video? Well, simple iframe. Basically iframe is a tag in HTML, which allows web devs to embed another website on their website. Sounds confusing, but let me show you an animation, which takes about two hours to make. <laughs> Come on, please subscribe guys I'm desperate so there is a website which tells check out my products let's say and the web developer creates an iframe then sets the source of this iframe to the products page so that they get displayed and if he does that you can see the products here being displayed simple but if you ask yourself can you iframe then any website well I'll, I'll show it to you right now here I have a simple web page and let's try to embed this simple website if I put this URL to the source of the iframe and refresh the web page I made you can see voila the page just appears but now let's try to embed instagram.com and if I do that, you can see, oh, fail to load. <laughs> Why is that? See, not all websites want their pages to be iframe because it imposes a security risk, but I'll get into that in a second. However, the thing that prevents this page from loading is this header, X-Frame Options. And you can see in the console of my web page that this, in fact, was the issue. But why would this be an issue, though? Some of you have guessed it already, but I'll explain just to make sure. Let's say there's a website which allows you to delete your whole account, but you must go on a website, then settings, then click on a button to delete your account and attackers won't trick you into doing these three obvious steps because as much as you think some people are idiots no one is that stupid though anyways one way attackers could trick you is if they were able to iframe the settings page of that website so an attacker goes on a website and then goes to settings and then attackers will check if there's an x-frame options header present as seen here <laughs> it is not so if an attacker tries to embed the settings of this legitimate website he will be able to do so but still it's obvious that you're clicking on a button which clearly says delete account so that's the <laughs> So how an attacker might still be able to trick you? Well, there is a neat CSS property called opacity. And if you set the opacity of an iframe to, let's just for the start, say 0.5, as you can see, it's harder to be seen. And if you put the opacity to 0.0001, it is completely invisible. But the problem is you can still click on the buttons on the iframe, including the ominous delete account button. Oh God. So now the attacker just creates a fake button, which is below the iframe on the Z axis. But since the opacity of the iframe is very low, iframe perishes and we are left with the bait button on the exact coordinate where the delete button is. So if I delivered this link to the victim, as you can see, this lab is soft and the victim clicked the button. But this scenario is a bit unrealistic. See, when you want to delete an account, usually you will be asked to type something out or maybe receive an email to complete the deletion. Here I have a more realistic scenario. Disabling two-factor, liking posts, deleting posts, deleting comments from the posts and much more. Let's take a look at liking posts, for example. An attacker and embeds a post and places a button on the like button. And if you click it, you essentially like the post. But there might be more than just two buttons. Take a look at this, for example. To delete a post, you must click three buttons and then click the delete button. However, an attacker might embed the post you uploaded and set buttons one on the three dots and one on the delete button once it appears. Now the attacker just instructs you to click firstly first button and then secondly the second button. If you follow these instructions, your post will be deleted. Now, as I promised, I will... Oh, I didn't promise the fuck. I forgot my script. I'll show you a real example of this, but that's a controversial and debatable. Wanna know why? I reported this issue and some guy came in and said, um, actually, it's not a vulnerability because basically... This issue is on our fellow website, Gilded. I'm certain you've seen it on this channel for a while now, which no one uses, but you can see here the settings page and all of the other pages are protected with this X-Frame Options header. So what am I talking about? Uh, I just gave myself a reality check. What the 
am I talking about? So API endpoints don't have this header, my friend. And you can embed an API endpoint. If you don't quite know what I've just said, let me break it down for you. Like legit break it down for you. API endpoints are used for a lot of things. Let's say you want to load messages. Website sends a request to slash API slash messages. You want to load incoming requests. Website sends to a slash API slash requests. So it's really important. And what if we could embed the whole endpoint? For example, the one which loads messages and trick users somehow to copy the piece this info. I present to you fish catching game where each player gets to play the top notch game event in the history. Yeah, made with the most modern technology by rockstar developers with the most immersive gameplay trapping you in the most overlooked worlds. This underdog game is so good. Just mentioning its name will give you infinite access to women. The reason why I'm saying infinite access to women and not men is because statistically men watch my videos. So yeah, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for any females I offended. Oh God, I, I know where this one is going. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to do a lot of explaining. I'm sorry. <laughs> so gameplay goes like this. You click on the C area here. <laughs> this is so silly. You click on the C area here and click control A to scan the area. Then click control C to catch the fish and then click here in the bucket and finally press control V to see if you found any fish. If you do that, you just gave all of your messages to an attacker. And this guy tells me that this is not an issue. <laughs> all right, man, let's wrap this up. Basically, click jacking is a vulnerability, which if you find and report, you can earn some money as it's really easy to find and it can bring you something like anywhere from $100 to $500. I'm, just, I'm certain certainly go something like that. This comment states that most websites have securities against all of those stuff, including CSRF issues. I'm <laughs> sorry to inform you, man, but <laughs> only real issue would be if a programmer forgot to enable or code that protection. Yes, that is absolutely true, but it's not rare, man. People make mistakes and will continue to do so. Therefore, it is our goal to make the internet more secure because we are seeing incline in scammers and decline in ethical hackers. Thanks for watching yet another video of mine. Make sure to go subscribe and like this video and let me know in the comments if I missed something or I said something stupid in the video. I really put a lot of effort in my video so please support me in reaching more people. I obviously won't forget the OGs. Make sure to join my discord server as well. Stay safe and